Hi everybody, Pierre Bristow here, and I'm I'm doing an interview today with a with an artist that I've come to know, and uh, she has a very exciting project going on. So I thought we'd chat with her. Her name is Marian Giorgio, and she's from Greece, from Athens. And and the reason I I got to know here her is uh, well, first of all, she was a member of the Singing Zone for a while, and that's actually how how I came to know about her project and then I actually had I met her in at when I was traveling I was in Athens and then um, at that time she was in the middle of the project and now she's actually released the English version and we're going to talk about this so first of all I want to welcome you Marian and thank you for being here Thank you. I'm, I'm glad to meet you again after that wonderful dinner we had <laughs> Uh, in Athens, in Plaka, during last summer. <laughs> we certainly did, yes. And here you are, I'm in Los Angeles and you are in Athens right now, so we're talking over the phenomenal internet that we have here. Yes. So, so Marianne, so you are an artist in Greece, you've been an artist and a singer for a long time. Well, mm -hmm. long time. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're still very young, so <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> okay, <go> sorry. <laughs> but uh, but uh, um, you have now released a song in English for the first time. Yeah, it's my. Would you like to talk about that? What would you like to talk about first? About the about my first English single. <laughs> yes, let's talk about the first English single, and we're gonna give you the link. Everybody's listening to this or watching this. We're gonna give you the link here, so you can go and watch and listen to it. So this is so this is the first time you've re released something in English. Yes, it's my very first time, and uh, it's about November. Uh, the release is now by Interscope Universal Music Group Worldwide. It's the, the English dance version of Italian song Novembre with Giuse Ferreri that released two years ago about and was one of the most successful tracks in European charts. I really love this song, the original Italian song. Uh, that's why I did this, did this version in, in English, of course. And I have to tell you that it's going very well in Italy, in France, in Switzerland, and in other European countries. And I'm very happy and grateful about that. <laughs> that is terrific. Yes. And, 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 and uh, so say again so we understood that. So it's written by... The song is by, written... By Roberto Casalino music and uh, English lyrics by Vicky Gerofodoro. <laughs> right. And for us... Uh, or for us and for you in the U.S., you should know then that Roberto Casalino is is very well known in Europe as a songwriter and. Well, I, that's right. That's right. Well, that's fantastic. And, and of course, November, uh, the song that I did the version, uh, uh, I told you that was one of the most successful tracks in European charts selling over two million copies worldwide. Wow. <laughs> wow. And that's great. Yeah. So that's fantastic. So, um, and so that's in English. How did it feel then to sing in English? Because that's kind of interesting for singers when they have to sing in a different language. I know that, but uh, I speak English and uh, I don't have any problem with uh, <laughs> English. Right. <laughs> but then also, you sang in Italian. That's what was the problem. <laughs> really? Do you speak yeah. Italian? No, no. And I have to tell you that uh, the first time when I recorded, recorded the Italian songs in Rome, I didn't speak any Italian. Uh, the only thing that I did uh, was to take some lessons just to know how to, 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 to learn how to pronounce the Italian words correctly and to be aware about the meaning of the lyrics, of course. <laughs> and after recording the Italian songs, I fell in love uh, with Italian and I guess started learning Italian. <laughs> uh, well, that's fantastic. And the songs that you recorded in Italian, they have not yet been released, right? 
Uh, this project uh, uh, will be coming out shortly. Okay, terrific. And what songs are, are, th are those songs? What? The songs that you sing in Italian. Can you tell us a little bit about the songs? Yeah, uh, we're talking about two songs. Uh, Io Volo, which means I fly, and Don't Bracciami. Uh, uh, it's about uh, two songs, actually. Uh, the one of them is Duet with Roberto Bezzellino, and uh, we have two versions, Greek, uh, the Greek-Italian version and the full Italian version. Mm. So, and uh, how did you feel comparing it, singing in English versus singing in Italian? Uh, I have to tell you that was um, easy for me to sing in Italian <laughs> uh, because uh, uh, Italian people and Greek people uh, have many things in common. First of all, Italy and Greece are neighbor country, okay? And then we have the same influences about our culture, our civilization, our music. And uh, you know something, when I am in Rome, I feel uh, like I am in my home in Athens, in Greece. <laughs> And this uh, was very important reason for me to to sing in Italian. Right. So was that your idea from the beginning then that you wanted to sing in Italian, or was it because of your relationship with Roberto? Uh, no, it's uh, it's something that I always wanted to do, and uh, I always wanted to expand my career into other European countries. And I chose Italy to start expanding my career. <laughs> Sounds like a good choice. I think, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm very excited for you. It's it's going to be. Uh, I'm very excited to hear the Italian. Well, I've actually heard them, but but they will be released then soon. So uh, so everybody's watching this. Please go and and uh, listen and. Uh, and I think it's going to be fascinating. But like we said, the English version is out now. So um, we'll give you the link to where you can go and listen to that. November. <laughs> yes. Fabulous. And, uh, yes. I would like to thank you uh, for your precious help because uh, I've been attending your Bristol Method for eight months about and uh, you helped me to improve and develop my vocal faculties and now feel my voice more uh, powerful and more free to to sing in different genres, you know. So I would like to suggest your Bristol method to any other uh, singers or amateurs who would like to improve their vocal uh, faculties. Uh, you have to join you. <laughs> They have, oh gosh! They have to join you. <laughs> well, thank you, Marianne. You thank you so much <laughs> for your help. <laughs> this was supposed to be about you, Marianne. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you say that, and and I'm glad it has helped. And uh, and um, um, what else? Any any advice that you can give to people who might want to sing in a d second language? I, I, I'll just tell people, you know, I grew up in Sweden, although I grew up with English also because my dad speaks British English. But um, I know it's, it can be tough for people who, who want to sing in a different language. I mean, even for us in Sweden who want to sing English, even though we have English from early age in school. But it can be tough to do that. So do you have any suggestions for people who, who want to try and do that? Yeah, uh, I would like to te tell them that they should try to sing in different language because it's not so... Uh, um, I think it, it's easy. It's <laughs> they should try to do it because it's, it's a great experience to sing in different uh, uh, languages, you know. And here is my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just a moment. <laughs> Look at that. My does, little break. <laughs> does he, she sing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's terrific. 
That's so cute. Well, congratulations, Marion. I'm, I'm really excited yeah. that is happening for you. And I wish you the best of luck. And I hope everyone goes and uh, checks you out. And um, is there a way to contact you? I mean, they can reach you on Facebook, maybe? or uh, Facebook, on LinkedIn, on uh, Twitter. <laughs> okay, <laughs> terrific. I'm everywhere. <laughs> You're everywhere, aren't you? Yes, yes. Marion is very good at the... Uh, the social media <laughs> yeah world. that's terrific <laughs> congratulations and I appreciate this chat and I wish you the best thank you very much thank you for your invitation and hope to meet up again in Athens very soon <laughs> that would be fabulous thank you thank bye. you too. bye well I hope you enjoyed that little chat with Marian and I want to clarify that when Marian and when I use the word easy, it doesn't mean that we believe that things happen for no reason. There's a lot of effort that goes into this. Marian has put a lot of effort into it. And I also want to clarify that when we talk about being able to sing with freedom in a second and third language, as in Marian's case, it doesn't mean that we need to sing perfectly without an accent. Accent is part of the personality. We want to get to the point where an accent or the difficulty of a language does not restrict your sound and it doesn't restrict your ability to express freely. And I think maybe the biggest takeaway here from what Maria shared with us is that you have an idea, you follow through on it, you work at it, and you see it to completion. And that is can be hard sometimes and that is to be congratulated and rewarded and that's what Marian has done here and uh, whatever the results are we've done something right so I hope that inspires you to go out there and follow through on your ideas your dreams and make it happen see you next time